What's going on guys, it is your boy Angus at Gamer and uh, today we are going to talk about the new update, we're going to buy the hero, see what the hero is like um, and then just talk about some different features that has been implemented into Castle Clash, new game modes, whatever there is. Uh, we've got one on the screen currently but before we get further into this please go ahead and leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. Just need to check that out. my mic's on. So here we have one of the new features uh, from the game, uh, which is called Boss Hunt. And this is Urgent Incident Warning. I like the uh, look of it, the animation. Um, it looks good. I like it. You can see this danger coming in. So it says here, the world has been invaded by an interdimensional boss. Gather clashes to defeat it. So now we're just going to say, okay. Um... So now you go back and from here you can change the boss or you can just hunt this one. Now this boss, they do drop a chance to obtain. I mean, you can get some purple gear or you can obtain. Um, it's a higher chance to obtain um, keepsake rewards, which is very nice. Then for this boss, we can get gold gear, which is really nice. That's a 2%, 5% to get uh, any gold gear drop. But this is puzzle pieces for um keepsake and then 45 percent chance to drop any of the purple um but you also stand a chance to get some of this which is 48 percent chance which sucks then you have this one you need to um spend rhinestone in order to change the boss but this drops gold accessories so that's a four percent chance then you have a six percent chance to get gold gear ten percent chance to obtain any gold keepsake a 40% chance to obtain um, keepsake purple, 40% chance for this keepsake purple, but this is all puzzle pieces, and then 1% chance to obtain any of that, and then so on and so forth. 19% chance for this. So that's how that works, so you can go back, and from here, you need to form your team, so I'm just going to select uh, this team, um, and I'm also going to throw evil eye at them, and Poe save now you can go quash is that, is that a word quash 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 i don't know um and then just go in at it i don't think the boss has that much life in him i did it on my free to play account and i did fairly well this time i'm not doing well at all well this is not a proper setup for this boss at all i need to go and read what the boss does everything like that we are winning but we are losing at the same time um but we did get him there we go boss hunt completed victory now we are getting that i mean that's not really good and then boss hunt disappears i don't know where to find him again um i can exchange i already exchanged um as far as i know i've got 63 of that um so yeah that's the new boss hunt thing so uh, i guess you guys need to go and do it um this coupons coupon collection time coupons are being distributed tap below to log into the payment center and for a limited time you'll get one coupon that grants 20 percent bonus see the prompt on the page for valid Ooh, and i want to do a purchase right now so let's see what this is Rhinestone bonus not applicable to seven day and 30 day bonus packs can be used one time. Okay. Um, okay, so but I have to do purchase through any of these options Alipay, PayPal, and Amazon Pay. I do none of those anyway, so yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh man, okay, whatever. Get out of there. Let's collect all. So let's go and see uh, what the new update has brought for us. Now, usually we get a an announcement page that tells us what the update includes. We don't have that now. So here we go. This is <clears throat> the new update and everything that comes with it. So hopefully you can hear me nice and clear. New update, new gameplay. Narcia, Crown of Thorns. Uh, trigger event boss hunt okay so that's the boss hunt that's the new narcia thing right um have not joined okay well whatever 
Um, then we have the new hero. That's going to be this little guy down here, which uh, we're going to purchase him today. So just hang in there. Just want to go through everything. So this is Infernal Jailer. Um, let's just kill him all the way up to 15. Infernal Jailer. Skill name. Hal's Shield. And then we have the skill description. So tiny skill description, but massive passive effect. Uh, deals 800% attack damage to three enemy heroes and removes their buffs. Not massive, right? So let's see what the passive effects does. Gain shields, soul, effect once he enters the battlefield. Every four seconds, the six friendly heroes with the lowest HP are protected by shield soul for three seconds. During this three seconds, the damage they receive is converted into HP to heal themselves. Okay, so some of the heroes and talents uh, ignores damage to HP conversions. Um, when a hero with shield soul effect is killed, the effect will be passed on to the nearest friendly hero. Okay, so not with specifically the lowest HP, just the nearest friendly hero. When HP falls below 75%, 50%, or 25% for the first time, immediately deals 800% attack damage to three enemy heroes. So is this the hero or any hero with shield soul? Doesn't make sense. Remove their buffs and inflicts shackle on them for one second. Ignore all conditions immunity effects. Okay, that's quite nice. So we can bound shackle uh, like tight binds or whatever. Any hero with this hero, which is quite good. Immune to stun. I, I guess that's going to be good for um, things like um, arena. Immune to stun, fear, inhibit, silence. That's what he's immune to. Um, sturdy cannot receive damage per hit that exceeds 15% of their HP. Now that's good. Not max HP, just HP. And he's got quite high HP. 203,000. So he's going to be a tank. It's not going to be an attack monster because he's got 6,000 um, attack. As you can see from the other heroes, which are normally higher than that. So he's going to be an HP beast. Okay, so. Um, new hero skin, Infernal Jailer, uh, Sacred Shield, added hero portrait, blah, blah, blah. Then we have optimization ranking rules for Ember Army in World, Rule, uh, World Boss. Um, added preview of themed weekly event in the event calendar. Um, whatever that is. Optimize raid interface. Added status effect for climbable, or claimable chests on the left side. For raid interface. Um, optimize raid interface added status effect for claimable chests on the left side. Well, that's always been like that. So that's weird. Okay, whatever. Uh, optimize effects for claiming chests in the fate scroll interface. Optimized color effect in the pet incubation interface. Optimized pet assist operation. Optimized interface for featured gifts in the bazaar. With a red dot reminds reminders for free rewards. Red dot reminders for free rewards in over here. Okay, well I've got a red dot right there. I've got a free reward. I keep on forgetting about this monthly pack that I can claim. I'm a diamond member, so let's go ahead and claim this. Um, okay, done. And get it back out. Um, there's no other free rewards uh, in here right now. We've got change talents and when I need to do that on my free to play account as well. Uh, we have the gem pack. Okay. Um, oh, here we go. Gift for you. Remain a uh, reminder. Okay. I see. <coughs> okay. There's a red dot that stays there. Okay. But wasn't it always like that? I always used to see red dot. Maybe just the way it's presented changed. Changed cooldown time for joining a new guild after quitting a guild. Changed. Oh, cancelled. Sorry, cancelled. Okay, so you can now uh, leave your guild and um, join another guild straight away. Increase the maximum number of heroes, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so nothing really. Bug fixes. 
Uh, fix the issue where the uh, completion prompt bubble for gear quest was not displayed above the building. Okay. Okay. Fix the issue where abnormal formation in the third stage of torch battle caused in um, inability to fight. And fixed issues where tapping draw hero prompted an error when having hero coins but insufficient warehouse slots for gems or oh, gems okay i mean whatever um not massive not many changes has come in uh we only have the normal um as you know um so i guess now it's time to go and check out the hero I i'm gonna be purchasing the new hero we do have the hero pack right here uh, for the new Infernal Jailer. I'm not going to buy that. I'm going to buy these two packs. Um, a 40 and a 20. Um, so I'm going to get three exactly. Or maybe I should just do this once off. Uh, what do I get? Okay, but with this one I do get the skin. Yeah, so I'll just do this. So that's fine. Just want to see if the hero is hiding out elsewhere. With better options. No, resource packs, no, weekly, nothing daily, nothing there, Rhinestone consumption, mm, whatever. Yeah, so okay, there's nothing. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the new hero and then go and build him a little bit and then test him out and see what his effects look like, what it looks like when he moves, stuff like that. Uh, I'm just going to get this purchase done. I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, for some reason, it, it, it's not allowing me to do two transactions at once. So I got the $50 one. So let's go and buy the hero at least. We'll sort it out to get the other one. Um, so let's go ahead and grab that. So I've got 1,000. I need 1,000. That's all I need to complete this final one. Um, but whatever, we'll sort that out. Okay, so we do have the new hero right now. Um, let's go ahead and open him up. An infernal jailer. Okay. Um, let's see what he looks like. Wait a minute, let's do it this way. Just to make things a little little bit easier for me because I know also some of you guys that watch my videos every time I build up a new hero you like to go and attack that hero that's on the base so I'll just leave the infernal jailer out here for you guys uh, so you can go and attack it afterwards um no, I'm not interested thank you I'm just gonna go and remove all of the other heroes oh damn it do that Okay, there we go. Um, let's see what he's born with. Uh, he's got, um, I forgot to tell his name, uh, Enlightened. Uh, earn XP, um, increased XP earned in battle by 40%. Not worried about that at all. Um, let's go ahead and skill him up. Um, I'm going to use all of these small ones. Because I've got so many of that one. Got fifty six thousand. That's that's plenty. Because we earn some skill. Um, we need to give him a talent. So we'll do a quick change. Uh, I just want to see. Bulwark works for me. Uh, replace. Th this is just going to be to test him out. I am going to get the other one, which will provide us with the skin as well. I'm just going to upgrade this a tiny bit. Uh, I mean max. Um, and then, uh, we need to, uh, I can't do anything there. I have to have level him up. Okay. So let's quickly go and finish this. Okay. We got him ready for double evolution. So he just needs to stay there. I can't, <laughs> we need the other one. Um, so this opens this up for me. Now, a problem that I thought of while leveling up, I don't have any adeptness and getting adeptness these days aren't easy. Um, I do have enough depthness to get him to 100 on my free-to-play account, which this is not my free-to-play account, so that's not going to even help me. I don't even know where I 
why I went that route to think of that. So stupid of me. Um, I'm just trying to ease the pain of what I have to go through now. Because getting enough of this, I've got 1,200. I mean, that's not going to help me with anything. I mean, let's just go as far as we can and see what happens. Yeah, I'm not. Okay. Well, that sucks. Anyway, um, I'm going to give him... No, I'm not going to give him Revitalize yet. I just want to see what he does. There's a Tempest right there. Okay, but I'm not going to buy that. I mean, that's 240 in Tempest. That's not going to do nothing for nobody. Okay, let's just finish the events before I do anything else. Seize the uh, Siege the Fender. I need to go and do this on my free to play account as well. Um, so let me get the 100 coins. Um, and just do this. Because I believe... No, I can't get any Adeptus from here. But let's see how many Celestica bags we get. Because this uh, opens it up for me on my free to play account. Also need some of that Malefica bags. <coughs> I need 80 soul stones on my free to play account to get Malefica. Hopefully today is the day for that happening. Because we can get one uh, on the 100th one you get a Malefica bag too. One of them. And you can get up to 100 soul stones out of that. So... That would be nice. But I need a deafness, and um, I don't think there's any way for me to get a deafness today. If there is, I will see what I can do. Um, select a pack. Yes, there's a deafness in here, but you can only buy once. So, like over here. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. 200 a deafness once. And I'm not going to pay that for 200 a deafness. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, so that's not worth it at all. And uh, final events, grateful times. I mean, I need to log in and do this, but there's not a lot of adeptness in there. Gift machine. Uh, this event sucks. I don't. I don't. I don't like this event at all. Because uh, there's nothing here for me, and um, it uses so much to give so little. This makes no sense for a perfectly normal person to do. I can exchange that one book, that. I can exchange 200 adeptness, which I'll do right now. And that's it. I can exchange that as well, but... Um, whatever, get out of there. House of Mysteries. This is um, not fulfilled. I need to go and do one more purchase, but I don't know why it's preventing me from doing another purchase. That's so freaking wild. And now, refine relics, uncover the treasure. I mean, we can do that once we spend some gems. Um, but that's it. That's that. I've got seven Celestica bags out of that, which is not bad. No Malefica bags. And I got some... Adeptness. Uh, I have enough for that. That's it. 79. I can't do 80. Okay, well, that opens up a bit more for what I can do. But I'm just going to send him in like this real quick. Into a random battle. Well, not a random battle at all. Um, it's 40 more deadness. I'm going to send him into dungeons. You know how it works. We're going to go to Ordinary Dungeon 1.1. 1 .1, um, to see what his movement is like. And then we can also figure out if he's auto-proc. Not from this one though. But he is auto-proc. He got a skill activated as soon as the battle started. But we read that from the skill description. But there's no heroes in here for him to attack. But I guess that, that animation of him moving looks good. So let's plant him down and see if anybody takes damage. Nobody takes damage. Uh, oh, okay. He just sniped out that entire team. Okay, so he is a massive sniper. Uh, let's go to Expert Dungeon um, 8. 
No, 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 no. Yeah, 810. Expert Dungeon 810. Uh, this is the one with all of these heroes in the middle. Let's put him down. He's not stunned up at all. Um, he's not getting a skill active. Okay, skill activated. He did hit some of them, but not doing massive amounts of damage. From what I can see. Okay, now we've got this 20 or oh, the 2 million dragon here in front of him. No, 20 million. I mean, not bad. Skill 1 or skill 10, but not bad. And then Insane Dungeon 4.9. This is my favorite go-to dungeon because I know this boss has got 80 million HP. Um, he's got 80 million HP. Um, and it's nice to draw the boss out and see what he does. That's a 31 million, 23 million and done. I mean, not bad. And he's also sniping. As you can see, some of the heroes are removed. Because he sniped them out. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah. Oh, all the heroes are down. We've got only this one and these two over here. Let's see if he takes them out now soon. Skill activation. Bam. Done. Okay, next up the PD. Just disappears. No, he doesn't. Okay, there he goes. I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, for how he is. <laughs> so let's give him something to see if he's going to be auto proc on uh, sniping out heroes. Um, so let's go back into a dungeon. We'll do uh, ordinary dungeon 810. Um, no, not 810, sorry. We'll do ordinary dungeon uh, 1. Here we go. Uh, place him down and they are gone. So he's auto proc. He doesn't need to get a hit off uh, in order to activate his skill. That's very nice. Now, let's go and do the other purchase, see if I can get it done. Technology sometimes disappoints me so much, but we back on. We did get what we needed. Uh, so let's go in and buy the. Why does it do this? Why the hell does it do this? Hang on. Let me just figure this out. <coughs> ever since I... Ever since I formatted my PC, things just don't work out. Okay, here we go. Uh, final purchase. We also get the skin, which is nice. Let's go in and claim. Collect all of that. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. We are now able to uh, implement the skin. Uh, we can upgrade that as well. Let's do that. We can enhance that. Nice. At max level, Julie. Um, we have the skin. Uh, let's quickly have the have a look at the movement in the skin. We see in the other movement, it's this reddish color, which looks nice, but it wasn't double evolved yet. Um, but that, I mean, looks okay. Looks okay. Doesn't matter. We'll keep it the way it is. Let's go ahead and uh, evolve. Double evolution. I'm not gonna go and um, I don't. Need, I don't know. What, what, what do we go for? Um, trait wise, attack, HP. I guess we go for whatever comes first because these days the traits. They struggle. They don't do well. Come on, come on, come on. The, if the, the level up portion of the game needs to definitely change. If you have enough resources, one click max. Boom. Uh, let's not struggle the way we do. Um, let's obtain this. I, I just want to see. I, I don't think I'm going to spend much time in this i just want to see what can happen what what can i get uh, my first couple of changes um can i get a double five star attack or a double five star hp uh whatever is that even possible i don't know okay come on come on stupid thing takes so damn long 
Uh, let's change. I've got 4,903. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Um, oh, okay. Boom. <laughs> we'll go HP. I mean, he's an HP beast anyway. But I don't think HP is the way to go. Um, but like I say, with every new hero that is released by Castle Clash, every time we build it, um, the hero is brand new. Nobody can know what the actual build is going to be of a hero until they uh, use it for a while to see what's its weaknesses and its strengths. <laughs> and also the other question is, will this hero even be used in a main team as meta or anything like that? I don't know. I don't think most heroes being released isn't used at all. That's why you got your top 15 at most heroes that gets used and that's it that's it all the other heroes are just mooch they are nothing um so me going my point is me going hp even if you're screaming at your phone saying that's a stupid don't do that it's not gonna blah blah i don't care i honestly i don't care i do not care um i don't have any trade changes um like i said if it turns out the hero is actually good um and usable then i'll change if necessary i'm just gonna give it a couple of rolls see if i can get something um but until then i'm just gonna build it this way hp because reading his skill the first thing i go to is hp he's got fairly low attacks so i don't think he's gonna be used as an attack hero but then again that sniping capabilities might be something that people would be interested in give him some empowered and just let him be i'm gonna, gonna leave it there because i don't even know how many gems i have i've got 310,000, so not a lot of gems um we'll give him deadly gaze when the hero enters the battlefield increases damage received by two random enemy heroes uh, by 35 percent for four seconds when an enemy hero's hp is below 60 reduces the healing received okay no 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 i'm just gonna give him that there we go um that's not the full build so let's change this uh to change to empowered so we'll give him empowered and then for the front, I'll give him survival or yeah, I'll give him survival if I have survival. <coughs> I do <coughs> have survival, which is nice. Um, uh, we can unlock that and we can use that. What did I just do? I changed? What the hell would I change? The talent that I already chose. Why would I do something like that? Who the hell am I right now? And I do these things to myself all the time. And I don't seem to snap on that I'm stupid. I keep forgetting that I'm an idiot. Okay, so we got that done. We've got him with empowered. We don't have him with anything else. This, I mean, this is uh, that's just gonna stay the way it is. Um, is this hero hireable? Hireable? Can you hire him with gems? Is what I'm trying to ask. Hireable? Hireable with gems. What am I doing? I need to go to the actual hero. Hire gems. We can. Let's see. I'm just gonna roll a couple of gems. Um, and see if we are able to snag one. Merksha. Ooh. Um. Okay, I'm gonna roll a couple. Not not a lot. Just see if I'm able to snag one with the release of him. Um. Merc Massacre. Demon Stalker. Come on. Just drop it. Puppeteer, but nice. Um, just drop the new hero for me, please. Young Spark. It is dropping epics at a alarming rate. Um, 
Come on, let's stop at three machinist. Nice. I'm gonna stop at 250. We got a machinist, that's incredible. A Julie with the max skin. Come on. Water priestess, give me something. Give me something. Boom. Void knight. Nope. Flutterella. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna go down to 230. See if we can get something. Searing Slayer. Come on. I can feel it. It's right there. Shicycle. It's right there. Come on. Tempestia. Very nice. Very nice rolling session. I'm gonna go down to 200. 200 is my bottom line. Uh, ooh, a Halbrut. Very nice. That's a nice rolling session. Uh, rolling sessions never go this well. Uh, for getting newer heroes. Another puppeteer. Come on. Infernal Jailer. There we go. Boom. No, that's a Stormwing. Infernal Jailer. Mm, now, boom. Thank you. Nope. Young Spark. Okay, well, I mean, didn't go too horribly. You know. Let's collect all of that. Okay. Get out of there. Um, we did get three new heroes. Let's see what those three new heroes are. It is going to be a Machinist, Halbrood, and a Tempestia. None of which are dupes. So that means, that means, what does that mean? I just want to go down all the way to the bottom here. Okay, so here we have Candel. Nothing there. Uh, Infernal Jailer, Puppeteer, we have Dreadshade, which looks nothing like Dreadshade. I just want to see something with Halbrut, uh, which I did level up quite a lot because I do like Halbrut. Um, combine, oh no, we can't combine anything, okay, whatever. Okay, so that's the new hero. It's sitting there, uh, ready to be used. You guys can go and attack him anytime you want. Um, he is there, ready. Not too bad. Um, I have other uh, events I need to go and finish up. Let me see. Okay, full times. Uh, gift machine. Ugh. Stupid event. Okay, well, maybe we can get some more Adeptness Codex out of this. I highly doubt it, but okay. Get out of here. No. Uh, House of Mysteries. Um, I mean, jump up now. We have uncovered the treasure. We've got 77 draws. Can we get adeptness out of this? We can get 50 adeptness. Um, so we're just going to click it this way. I'm going to skip forward. Oh, that goes quick. Damn. Ch check. Okay. It, it breaks it every time, but check this out. Um, oh, man. I have to exit out and go back in. Okay. With the rapid fire button. Check out the numbers here now. Okay, look at it. <laughs> it goes a lot. So, okay, that's actually quicker. So you just have to keep on going back in. But that is a lot quicker. I mean, I do seven at a time and click once and then just have to click, click and go back in. Um, I mean, that is a lot quicker than normal. Okay, so I did find a way at, at least. There we go, done. Okay, let's see if we got any Adeptness Codex out of that. Oh, it's at 92. I mean, it's overflowing. <coughs> We've got 6,000 um, gems, two Celestica bags. Oh, we got Epic Gear S Select Box. Oh, no, it dro drops a random one from below. Okay, that sucks. Because that's nice. If that was a Select Box, it would be better. Um... No adeptness at all. Nothing. And the problem is, where I'm at in my life right now, I can't do um, breakthrough. 
because I don't have the resources for that. Well, capstone rubies and stuff like that is what I don't have. So that kind of sucks. But okay, that is the new hero. It's not bad. We'll I'll try and get him up as much as I possibly can and then do a hero versus hero, which I don't have any account. So if you have an account for me that I can use to do hero versus hero, please. Um, I lost Bong's account details and Bong doesn't speak to me. So there's no way I'm going to get back in there. So if you have an account that I can use, please hit me up. Otherwise, I don't know how I'm going to do hero versus hero. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.